With Overdrive, you can set up a great looking site in minutes using content from Google Drive. Today, I'm going to create a basic internet site for my company, Sanford. The site will be used for sharing information and resources with colleagues, for collaboration and for various company-wide workflows. Overdrive sites are built from Google Drive folders, and for this site, I'm going to start with this area, which is already in use in my company. The Documents folder has subfolders and a variety of file types, as you can see and the news folder contains news articles in the form of Google Docs. Once I've connected Overdrive to Drive, I can use this menu to both create new sites and jump across to existing sites. I'm going to sign in using my Google account, but I can also configure my site to allow users to sign in using Facebook, Office 365, or using an email address and password. This interactive tour that's popped up is great for finding your way around Overdrive when you come to build your own site. But I'll close it down for now. My site design is looking a bit basic, so I'm going to find my company logo. And now use Template Designer to pick a template that suits my corporate colors. These advanced settings give me lots more control over the design and layout, but the site's looking fine for now. As you can see, my site's been automatically created using the content in Google Drive. Notice how all of the folders from my Drive folder are now pages in the menus, and they'll stay in sync if I make changes in here or in Drive. and the contents of the folders has been brought across. Now all my users have friendly, easy access to our company files without having to use Drive. Users with edit permissions are able to create and upload new files and edit existing ones. This folder contains the key forms that my colleagues need to get to every day. I can switch it to an icons view to make it easy to navigate. The news folder has an important role on my new site, so I'm going to make it look a bit better. I'm going to use page builder over here on the pencil icon to turn the folder tile into a blog. Each article now shows with a thumbnail image extracted from the doc and the first few sentences of text. When I click to view an article, there's a comments tile below each one to encourage feedback from my users. Now the home page, which is always an important page for any site. The assets folder is where I'm going to keep logos and other files needed for the site but I don't need it to appear in the menus, so I'll switch it off like this. This about Google Doc is my explanation to my users of what the site is all about, and I do want this one to appear in the menus. Now I'm going to use Page Builder again to replace the folder tile with some more interesting comment content. I'm going to start with, the, with an image box and pick something inspirational to brighten things up. Now as I move down the other tile categories, from Google Drive you'll see I can add folders and files from My Drive and Shared Drives, as well as content from other G Suite apps including Calendar, Contacts, Maps and Photos. From social networks, I'm going to add a Twitter tile. Overdrive is also integrated with other cloud apps such as Microsoft OneDrive and Smartsheet and has a variety of other tiles to aid productivity such as workflow and uh, collaboration such as this discussion tile. Now to finish my page off, 
I'm going to change the welcome text and turn off the side menu just for the home page. And there we have it, a great looking site in around five minutes that will form the basis of my new G Suite powered intranet.